Taiwan, Berlin. My chest is blocking the traffic noise. Oh no, your flat chest is perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, so here we are in, in on the uh, in a park in front of my in front of the Radio On house actually, Radio On Studio. Yeah. Uh, between there and Skeletzerstrasse, so we have the the Skeletzerstrasse. Stra- the train will go um, regularly behind us, which we didn't think of when we uh, we had our back to the mm. to the train line. There are no works uh, going on anymore. Uh, no, no, they were working on it for okay. about a f- couple of years, I think. But oh, they ha- have been doing some by Gorlitzer Bahnhof, which is just uh, right of us. Um, but uh, actually, they should get the guys that are living homeless to give them a job um, doing the welding, spot welding, and cleaning this thing, and etc. Well, get the junkies to the junkies. You know, the, the junkies the, the, will do the welding. The, I, I think they, they will the, sell the material. <laughs> or they could be the managers. Yeah. They could be the managers, and then the guys, the poor guys, and you know, that are living homeless there. Mm. But uh, in any case, that's our location. So beautiful day here. There's a is it butterfly. Are you looking for a needle? Spinning or? round, and yeah, this is Junkie Park, by the way. Uh, We're facing a. It looks very much 1970s. Yeah. Look, there's a butterfly. Describe that butterfly. What's it doing? It's going round and round in circles. It's going to the other butterfly. What other butterfly? Or, or the wing of another butterfly. The wing of another butterfly. Said, are you dead? Are you dead? Oh God. Come back to life. Yeah. He wants to give the butterfly a kiss of life. So this is doing some voodoo. Or he thinks from I'm going... <laughs> Well, oh, there's that ring in I your forgot ear. about that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is the main artery for all the... Hold on, do butterflies mate? They must mate. Don't all butterflies... To make don't... little caterpillars? All well, look, that, that, that's going on then now. Yeah, so we've got a... You yeah, ever saw that? The junkies? I never saw... No, no, I've Two not. butterflies making yeah. love. So one has to be still, the other one has is fluttering around like yeah. mad. That's like a Captain Beefheart uh, song title, Two Butterflies Making Love in a Junkie Park. Something like that. And now the wasps have yeah. uh, got involved. Oh yeah, you're right, now the two butterflies are fl- yeah. fluttering away. Oh, yeah. They've launched off the ground and they're going around each other Long like... Dogs. Um, okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, amazing. Go away, go away. Oh, and up and up and up they going. go. Yep. High above the park, oh they're looking down on us. Their wings are melting. You oh. see? Oh, oh no, it's oh, oh, Icarus. It's yep, the yep, yep, Icarus moment. It and it's, it's just touched the sun, one yep. of them, and the other um, one is now heading down to, and down to ground. Yeah. Uh, going to ground. Oh. Are these big black flowers? No, bicycles. Uh, let's go. So, yeah, yeah, the wasps as well. Wasps are out now. They're all drunken on whatever sweet on things heroin. they can get. That's for sure. And uh, yeah. it's, it's that time of the year when they have to leave their nest, or the, I think the queen's left. So they've got no jobs left, and yeah. they're homeless. They're homeless like these guys by the Gorlitzer Bahnhof. And uh, so they annoy um, people eating cakes and drinking coffee and yeah. uh, outside here in Berlin, of course. Wouldn't this have been perfect for, for Nico right in the middle to have a grave? Yeah, that's right, in this park. Yeah, huh? Nico from the Velvet Underground should have been buried here, yeah. But, it, but then, yeah, I don't know, is it good? I don't know. I mean, these guys, I don't know what they're doing probably picking up so no, they are just uh, not leaving all the rubbish behind and oh, they're right. just cleaning the park yeah it's, yeah it's true it's really nice yeah yeah i won't point point at them anyway we're, we're here we're doing our own private radio show it's a private radio show in the park just ignoring all the junk it's around all right so yeah it's happening here no doubt we'll hear more polizei and fire there and firemen, police and etc, etc going past, so I'll have to adjust those levels of course. You know. Well, this is, I don't think that this was ever meant as a park because this uh, enclosed your your houses and that one you see, Yeah, I think that enclosed like a big building block and, uh, and, and you might have had some houses in the middle as well. So this would have been bombed, do you think, or? No, uh, I mean or, this or was maybe, on, yeah. but uh, there, there was also in the 50s and 60s that they tore down houses just to uh, prepare for new houses being built, yeah. which, which you can see at the other side of Moritzplatz. Yeah, 
I think our house is about so, 100 years old, I think. Well, maybe even a little bit more. That they are like 140, 150. Maybe, yeah. But you can look at it from Google uh, Earth. You mm -hmm. can look down on us right now. Yeah. Right here, right now. We were here the last time Google uh, cameras went round about 10 years ago. Uh, so. September 7th, September 8th. Now, oh yeah, so yeah. yeah. Afghanistan uh, has gone back to the Taliban. And yeah. You listening to this uh, in about 20 years' time. Nobody talks about COVID anymore. It doesn't exist. Well, yeah. Well, it exists. It's going up, yeah. 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 It, the level's going, well, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, now I've been wearing my blue mask in the supermarkets the instead blue of the, mask? the blue one oh, the blue. instead of the FFP2 one. That's true, we are back to uh, the, the less uh, protective. Yeah, masks. so people do start looking more like nurses and yeah. doctors and things. So Better breeding. Yeah, better bread. Thing, breading. But I don't know, why should I wear a mask? I've got my two jabs now. Because uh, you can still get it apparently and you can yeah. give it to others so it's never actually going to go away you know like life you know you can still get get life anyway i've been in a bar already i had some beer and next week i'm going to see a concert oh and, uh, yeah our friend joke is always a, a good reason to go out and, uh, and, and see what he's up to okay Got it, got that. Yeah. But he's got uh, a drummer boy with him and, and, and a female singer. Little drummer so boy. That's, uh, <laughs> that will be a trio. Ah, so. Yeah. Great. Now that was an advert and a half, yeah. wasn't it? For Mr. Killing Joke. I mean, uh, jazz, no. I, I went to Holland Josie. last week. No way. I've not been out of Berlin for two years. What's uh, it like? And uh, on the Berlin station, I saw a well a familiar face. I said, hi, Nick. Father Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, seen I've seen him. Huh? I've seen him in the flea, flea markets. And yeah. um, mon, 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 ma, ma, begins with ma. Gone. Nick. No, his name is Nick. And, uh, yes, but so our listeners know if they don't know who yeah. Nick is. It's not old Nick, it's not Nick the Stripper, it's... Well, there are some shows on our radio still rotating with... Mobius the, and strip. interviews we did like uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Guess, guess who it is. Momus, yeah. it's Momus. Look yeah. up who Momus is. If you don't know who Momus is, then look him up. He's uh, got a huge presence on uh, yeah. virtual human... Places. Writing, lecturing, walking, uh, making singing, Bowie stuff. Now he's uh, what? What I've he, he, he's he's got a strange capacity to uh, to write very catchy tunes. Yeah. That don't go out of your head. Yeah. Um, Pop things. And it's it's very much like uh, the the storytelling period. In, uh, in England when there was a lot of uh, music it's almost symphonic rock ah. brought to uh, the nowadays iPad uh, generation era huh? oh but iPads are out aren't they or they're in I don't know well all <laughs> these apps on, on the things apps. that, that uh, <laughs> give you the uh, possibility to make music with your computer or with uh, whatever you have yeah pause for thought too many things we're yeah. firing at our listeners but that's a that's a nice thing that that you meet someone and then halfway the trip you say from hey let's meet in the restoration uh, oh so you actually yeah. you arranged to meet and then we sat for like two, the last two hours of uh, okay because and of course you recorded everything no <laughs> I don't, this I'm monumental not, moment i'm not a recording guy i and thought you were i thought you always had like an audio no 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 well, in thanks. fact, I gave uh, the little microphone of, uh, of my Walkman to uh, the, li the small one, not the one that you repaired. Gave it away. To uh, my former housemate. Ah. And, uh, and, and the Walkman itself started to behave very strange as if it was drunk. 
No Your way. Sony Walkman? Yeah. No way, you gave it away. Yeah, the, no, the little, no, I didn't give the <laughs> Walkman away. I, I gave the, the, the microphone. small microphone okay, away. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's a, like the tip of my uh, little finger, the, yeah. the size of it. Of course, uh, the, the, the small Sony Walkman didn't uh, record very well anymore. Mm. This was the just Sony part of the show. Just adjusted speed. So tell us what happened in this meeting with Momus and Nick. I don't Nick. know, he was talking. Um, he was I, I can't even remember what he was talking <laughs> oh, about. It was all light prose, you know? Uh. Yeah. Of course, it was Berlin and, 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 and Japan and, uh, and Athens uh. and, uh, and the things that he was doing and living mm. in. Uh, in a bottle in, in a friend's house and all these friends going uh, somewhere north in, of, of, of Berlin to live uh, in a kind of community style growing their own food having kids in the green so that's how he got uh, how he got his flat <laughs> ah. and uh, because a friend of his moved uh, ah. somewhere north yeah. and I don't know if that's a tendency of, of, of young urban people becoming young suburban. No, young. Uh, he's not young, is he? No, he's not young. <laughs> but uh, the, the former young urban people, they are not young anymore. No, nobody's young anymore. So, a country. So they're becoming young countryside now. All the countryside people, so they, they turn into OCPs. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm an OCP. What does it stand for? Old country person. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. older young, no. older, <laughs> older country person. A former, former, former Yup. Former, the former. Yeah, do you remember when, when Friedrichshain was changed and it was like a Yup er area? A Yuppie area. Yuppie area. Young and up, up young up. Urban professional, profe upcoming professionals or something. Yeah, yeah. young urban professionals. Urban, uh, but uh, with loads of kids. Yeah, yeah and that was like from whoa, pushing, pushing, uh, pushing. Uh, many kids as possible. And and it almost looked like oh god, this is going very wealthy. But uh, they they've passed that moment. It's ah. it's, it's chaotic again. Oh, because you live there, of course. Rinus, no, I didn't you, live. You live in, no, didn't you live, live in, there now, don't I you? I didn't live in Friedrichshain. No. I now live in, in Pankow, which is oh yeah, uh, that's right, on the edge of which is very, a very pleasant area, I mm. must say. It's, uh, the atmosphere that the DDR, GDR, GDR, the atmosphere that the DDR created for uh, the foreign diplomats and the embassy people in Pankow. Yeah, in Pankow. Mm. It's still, it's still apparent. It's, you, the, the, the architecture and the layout of the streets is more calm. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like a diplomat living only, there now? Only when I head north. Ah. Like a dog. No, I, I feel a little bit displaced because I really have a, a sense of belonging to this area quite, and, quite to, uh, and to the Neukölln area. Yeah. Which, uh, when, when I see everything, it fits me like my clothes like a glove um, I, I dress like this uh, that's like like uh, the look of this neighborhood like everyone else no yeah i actually i just moved my it's friend's organized chaos <laughs> my friend's bookstore from flughafenstrasse no i can curious fox they they were not they didn't manage to re renew their well they weren't uh, their contract was not renewed this year after eight years of being there um Irish did they ask more no, no, they didn't, didn't even give them a chance. They were expecting it to go up, which it has done year after year. In. Uh, but oh, um, it's just end of term and no renewal. Yeah, no That's renewal. It. No, oh. they had to leave. So I, I was carrying boxes and boxes of books into storage in uh, Schoenberg. There's a storage place uh, courtesy of another country, another bookstore here, amazing bookstore. Um, yeah, so... That's that's uh, not an end of an era because there's a possibility they might be relocating to Laos. It's a plat, so that's between you and me, folks out there. There's a small little thing on the horizon, perhaps, um, which would be great because that's really close to here. It'd be wonderful to have uh, an English bookstore. Uh huh. Although they are they are actually Irish, lovely Irish couple, Orla and Dave, and we've broadcast loads of their poetry evenings, of course, in the past. 
on Radio One. So, um, yeah, change. There's loads of change going on all ah, around so us. So they might move to the area. It's possible. Oh. It should be super good. I think they're fed up of Neukölln. Um, well, they're, maybe it's they, just they should a little do a little bit what I've seen in uh, in, uh, in in New York, but the state of New York, where the state of New York. Have you yeah. seen the state of New York? Yeah, of course. If you go up the Hudson, you've got all these little. Uh, towns up, up there hmm. and, and and people they have like uh, a bar and a bookstore mm -hmm. so you can come in and oh, drink your right. beer and and, yeah. sure. and they've got uh, um, book cases on wheels yeah so that you can put them aside and then it becomes a little performance place yeah sure yes ideally mm. so that you've got always an audience or a public yeah even if they just come to drink a beer. Mm. I don't know about licenses and stuff like that now mm. for these kind of things. If you want to sell books and also a license for food and drinks and things? Or I think I think the, the, the future of the small kind of, uh, of shops would be to, uh, to join forces yeah. and, and, and have uh, space available for people who want to do something pop up. Yep. and be there just for two months and other people who just want to have a little corner even a bookstore in, in, uh, in my hometown they've got a corner for the guy selling uh, secondhand records yes, yes he moved out of his uh, small place and and, uh, and just has yeah. A, yeah. a little yeah a little corner in that, uh, in that bookstore pop-up books uh, yes so because you can also share the rent. Are we drifting away from our listeners here? Do you think they're? Kind of, I don't know. They're interested at all in setting up their own no, small. No, no, it's a just background <laughs> noise. Small businesses in Berlin. Yeah. Come to Berlin, set up your business, pay rent to someone, and then get kicked out. Endless cycle. Right. Clear your cellars. Clear your cellars of all stuff that's been there for like a hundred years or something. Who knows. But you'll find out who your friends really are when, when you want When to, you have to move. When you have to move, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I was quite really happy to help. And I just wanted yeah. to help and help and help. And they're just stunned by the amount of people that were really helped them through this because it was a huge job. But that's the easiest yeah, books are uh, heavy. move. Yeah, but it's the easiest uh, way of moving that you can do. It's just what? putting putting books in, in a box and then it, carry, it carry the boxes. It was not easy. It's just heavy, <laughs> but... In, in way of organizing Going through space. corridors and everything else. Jesus, ah. and endless boxes of books. But yes. Just uh, make small boxes, otherwise oh. you're carrying 20 God. kilos. And it's it? like, how many boxes? There were, must uh. have been about, uh, I'd estimate about a few hundred boxes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Packed with books. That's a lot of walking. Oh God. I had to buy a new pair and of shoes. it wasn't shoes. just that. And then it was all the stuff that had been accumulated. They had to get rid of everything you know like the sink the kit literally the kitchen sink, oh, yeah. the bar everything you know all the uh, shelving and everything and then take stuff to the dump as well where it was just crushed which is just a crime really um how can this happen but yeah post covid is it post covid i don't know like but you know things are changing no yeah. it's, it's supposed to uh, covid hype and uh, hype <laughs> uh, post covid uh, panic Perhaps. Well, you know, if, 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 if you got someone walking ahead of you and he says, no, this way, no, this way, no, I think we have to turn around. Oh, hang on a bit. Uh, let me think. I have to call someone. And this goes on for like an, a year and a half. You say, yeah, OK, fuck you. You, you walk your way. I go that way. So yeah. Uh, so give, give, send me a text when you've arrived. So for, and, and that's the whole COVID situation. Oh God. I haven't, like I say, I've not been out of Berlin. Uh, um, but you have, you have, you said you, you visited your home country. Well, in Holland they act as if it doesn't exist. Really? Now, yeah. Well, all the time. Yeah, all the time, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just been a very brief moment that, uh, that people are wearing masks in, in, in supermarkets. Ah. But uh, it went away very, very, very soon. Ah. Should we visit... Uh, like interactive sonic uh, what? Um, <laughs> exhibitions that don't cost any entry. What way entry? Where? Leipziger Platz. What? You right. walk around and you change uh, the sonic landscape. Oh really? You affect yeah. it by yeah. 
because there's cameras or something or there. I don't know if it's sensors or something. It's we could do. We could do a radio oh. show in there. That could be the next show mm. after this one. Because um, now I, with, with my tours, I arrive at the at the Schloss, the the, the palace in the middle of uh, Renus's bike tours. Yeah, this is an advert for Renus's bike tours. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, now I've, I've the, the the palace in the middle of uh, of Berlin. Yeah, that only from the outside looks like a palace, but if you're inside, it's. Uh, it's like, from, what's this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's something between a shopping mall and the backside of office building, and, uh, and a piece yeah, of cardboard. It's, it's, it's huge, <laughs> a huge, a uh, huge uh, display of uh, what you can buy to put on your own palace if you would like to build it on the Crimea or, or, or something. Ah. So from, if you see this entrance, well, we can uh, we can put it to pieces and then uh, transport it to. Uh, to your country and, and build it up again ah. and it will only cost you like uh, 500,000 uh, euro <laughs> or, or maybe 1 million I don't know because or maybe 2 million I, I don't have an idea but, yeah. uh, but it looks like it's for sale um, the palace if, the inside the two courtyards but if you enter either way there are four gates uh, open to public and if and all these four entrances open to public, you first are welcomed by a sound installation. It's ah. the big thing. Ah. So and you hear sounds that you think from, what's this? It's a little bit like, ooh, and uh, if you walk fast enough, you will have it behind you very fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a sound installation here, isn't it? We have trains coming behind us. Yeah, but that's natural sound installation. We've got the sound of butterflies in yeah. front of us and wasps around our feet. Mm. So I don't know how interesting it might be to uh, to have a gamelan uh, orchestra coming out of oh, uh, nothing. Gamelan. I once did uh, something years ago with uh, in a school with a friend of mine. We were doing installations and things, and we had to digitise. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Using director, if the anyone kitchen equipment. No, we had to di digitize a real gamelan, so we had to record it, take photos of it, and then make it like a, you know, an instrument, which was, you know, pretty early on for that kind of thing. Of course, now we, uh, you have s people making synth amazing synthesizers and virtual synths and these kind of things. But we digitized, yeah, made a virtual gamelan. Pretty much, it was his project, and I was doing the legwork and programming. We had to do it in Adobe director or flash and director? that doesn't that doesn't exist anymore none of that shit exists anymore <laughs> but but yeah gamelans and I, I didn't I wasn't that keen on it but of course it's a indigenous instrument is that correct by saying that the history of the gamelan no idea it's a big I, load it's, 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 of big load of sitting on the drums. backside of a truck and then making the best of it during a 10, 10 hour ride mm-hmm and maybe it started with uh, transporting uh, goats with, with different belts. Or well, the gamelan. Yeah, if you've got like 10 goats with different belts, <laughs> they all go like clung, 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 clung. And if you shake the goats in different rhythms. <laughs> shake the goats. Yeah. <laughs> Picture that. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a bit like gamelan, the, the primitive uh, gamelan orchestra, or the idea that led up to the to fabricating. But I think the gamelan is this kind of a series of drums, isn't it? Like floor-based drums in different pitches. Yeah, but a lot of people. And, and then, yeah, and they, yeah, and you play them. And of course, it's got the goats. Yeah, the goats are I think the Chinese people do this, <laughs> do this too, no? They, they start like from, it's going somewhere, and then at the end, it's going only in chaos, and everyone is walking around and, and bumping into each other. So, mm. and, and then it stops. Mm. Perhaps. Of course, you have to put like add like 15 layers of jung 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 mm. with the, to this and uh, Gamma Gamma speed up the pitch. Mm. But uh, yeah. So is it supposed to be like herbs now, like autumn? Or is this like the last days of summer? Yesterday, I smelled for the first time the river spray, and I saw. <laughs> Actually, that it was uh, floating, stinking, uh -huh. 
floating. It was floating. Yeah, be because normally when you look at the river here, you, you don't see any mo movement at all. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, not, not even a Tarkovsky movement. Uh -huh. You don't see anything. <laughs> you wonder, does it move? I think you have to watch with a time lapse mm -hmm. for a week and then, and then maybe notice that it eventually is moving. But uh, there, uh, in front of the Schloss, the palace, it moves and it's got like white, white uh, uh, things of foam, white uh, oh, uh, spots of foam yeah. floating with it. So that's kind of... But somewhere to the right... That's not good, is it? Foam. Somewhere on the, on the right of that river, there is a, an artificial waterfall. How do you call these things that stop the water and then leave it through? Oh, uh, yeah, one of those things. Uh. And Holland is called a sluice. Schluch. A kind of dam, Schluch. artificial dam. Yeah. So the boats have to then rise up or yeah, go yeah, down yeah, and yeah. then change direction. Yes, indeed. So we will uh, have to leave you, oh. our dear listener. And uh, as I say that, our okay, so some high class dear heroin users. Junkie, junkies in front of us are now moving off as well. I don't know how it works that life. I guess I'll have to read some more William Burroughs and things to sort of really get in there. But we are. Yeah, He's walking with his right car around. Yeah, on a, on I don't tend to point. I don't tend to point at people in this park, you know. Oh. <laughs> Especially when we've got technical equipment on us, you know, like we are like monitoring every situation. No, but you know, when you just have uh, got your shot, yeah, you become very active and you you ah. you, you pretend to do organi organizational stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, so like, that's that's like what cleaning, he's doing cleaning all the, the time park. now. Yeah. And if he starts scratching, then it's really like whoa, whoa. But we have we haven't seen him vomit. No, no. I think I don't know if you're really into it. You don't do that stuff, do you? Uh, I don't know. No, anyway. I grew up in Heroin City Number yes. Three, so yes, uh, said, I know yeah. all these things. Yeah, sure. I've seen people crapping themselves on the street. Yep. Nice. All right, let's. It's, it's like Great Runner, <laughs> no? Yeah. <laughs> Look, that our two butterflies are now heading in different directions. I reckon it's the same one. Oh, he's heading back again. They're heading back to each other in the trees. Look, they're doing a kind of dance of uh, delight. Here's what you might try to do some guerrilla gardening and plant palm seeds. Yep. Plant the coconut. By the time we do another program. Oh, no, no, no. Do ananas grow on... No, they don't grow Pineapples. on... Pineapples. Pineapples. Do, do they grow on palm trees? No idea. Pineapple trees? Uh, yeah, pineapple trees, I guess, yeah. I don't know. So you might plant banana trees. They go very fast. Uh-huh. Pineapple, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and and coconut uh, trees, so yeah, palm trees. Oh, so it'll be a junky heaven. Do 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 this over here. Great for the butterflies. Great for the. And and here, like uh, behind us, just behind the fence, uh, tulips. Yeah. But then you risk that the junkies will eat the bulbs, but because they think they will get high on it. Yeah. Uh, She's not a junkie. No, people oh. walking through the park. Yeah, but that's dangerous. You can get raped. Oh, God. I'm going to have to edit that out. Not during the... Anyway, Berlin's fairly... Well, this part is fairly peaceful. I think the only thing is that, you you know, you can have your bags and everything, your wallets and phones and everything stolen from you if you're in the wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong place at the wrong time and you don't know the area and stuff. But it's probably the same with a lot of cities. Keep your ears peeled and your eyes uh, yeah. uh, open. You know. That's our last word on this show, I think. The pickpocketers on the train. Exactly. Yeah, I, I personally, I would mine the whole place. You would mine it? Yep. Okay. Lay mines everywhere and just hear the sound of mines and people exploding and uh -huh. skin, hair and skin flying all over the place. And then suddenly find an arm on your balcony? Day and night. Uh -huh. Yeah. All sorts, of, all sorts of stuff. Okay, thank you for listening to our inane ramblings. Uh -huh. Radio on www.radio minus on minus Berlin dot com. We're Voices here. from the past. <laughs> yeah, and to the future. The soundtrack of Berlin to end do, with. Do, 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 do. Radio.
you on.